We'll see. Nah, fire one. Load removers working, we love to see it. Uh, what's the record? The record is the time I'm comparing to on my splits. So 5, 20, 32. Actually, it does also say it in the title, so I realise that might have been an ironic question. But, uh... You know, at least I'm providing, I guess. I'm sorry to hear that, Force. That's, uh... Yeah. Never good when something like that happens. Uh... But yeah, my, my condolences over to you. It's, uh, yeah, sorry for your loss. That's the words I'm looking for. And as Quasar says, much love, much love. I need to actually get myself in a state to do a five hour run. I'm hoping I wake up kind of as this run goes on. Um, because right now I am quite tired. I've been tired all day. Yo, Zero, how's it going? Yeah, I've been tired all day. Like, um, I woke up at about half six this morning. And, uh, couldn't get back to sleep because it was light outside. And it was like stormy as well, so the wind was blowing against my window and it made it difficult to fall asleep. Eventually I did. Um, again, but that just completely threw my like sleep cycles off. So I woke up again at like 9, which is when my alarm goes off. And it was awful this morning. <laughs> like my brain just didn't want to work. Yo, nice Quasar. Man, I have nothing to do at the moment, but like, uni starts in just under a week for me. Again. And then, uh, I'm gonna have, like, hopefully gonna be able to stream. At least at some points, but it will be, like, less regular. Right, jump on the thing. I'm not watching this cutscene again. I'm just gonna roll with this. Wait, first time you didn't sleep through your alarm since school. That's not great. <laughs> I mean, congrats for not sleeping through your alarm. Been falling asleep at 5am? Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, fair enough then. <laughs> I wish I could, well, actually no, I don't wish I could have a sleep schedule like that, because that would be awful for me. Especially when I have like 9am lectures. Your body defaults to a horrible sleep schedule when school starts? See, I'm the complete opposite. Like, I'm having to force myself to stay on a good sleep schedule at the moment. Because there's some evenings when I'm working. But, um... Normally, if I don't have anything to do in the mornings, my mornings will just get later and later and later. And I'll be getting out of bed at, like, midday and stuff quite regularly. So I've, I've like, really kind of tried to change that with myself this week or this summer.
Stay awake, stay awake till 3 a.m. Why not? Nah, I can't do that if it's school, man. I just, like, I'm more likely to do that when I have nothing to do. Uh, what do I do for work? It's not private. Um, like, for summer work, I work at my local tennis club as a tennis coach. Because I used to be decent at that. So yeah, it just earns a little bit of money, but especially during the summer where they do like um, stuff for um, like parents could drop their kids off in the morning and then uh, like pick them up again at kind of five so they can have a full working day. Obviously that means it's a lot of hours for me, so it's a lot of work, which is good. But then obviously now kind of classes have started so I've been covering for one of the full-time coaches because they've been on holiday school this year has been good you got a two in French um, what whereabouts are you from Arctic if you're UK based then I completely understand what you mean but um <laughs> If you're not, I have no idea what the grading system is. What's the grading system in Germany, then? French sucks. Nah, French was alright when I did it as a language. I was, like, okay at it. I came out with a grade 7, I think. Which is the equivalent of, like, an A. Which was not too bad. So we're on a good amount of studs now. I should probably get like the Hundo root up on my phone, just in case I do miss something. Like, uh, <clears throat> last run. Because <laughs> I have not practiced at all between last run and this run. Grades 1 to 6, 1 is the best, 6 is the worst. Right, okay. That makes sense. So 2 is really good then. GG for that. Yeah, in the UK it's completely different. So, most grades for... GCSEs, which are the exams you take when you're 16. Uh, the lowest you can get is ungraded, obviously. And then, then it goes grade 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, all the way up to grade 9. Uh, so grade 9 is the best. Grade 4 is basically a passing grade, and then anything above that is like your Cs, Bs, whatever. And then 7's an A, 8 and 9 are A stars. Some other European countries only do 1 to 5. Don't know why you adopted this goofy system. Everywhere has a different system. Like, letter grades were great, and then the UK were like, you know what, we're going to move away from them. And then, of course, you go to university, and university, it's like, oh yeah, you got a 2-1, or a first. And it's like, oh great. So that's completely different as well. That's something else I have to pay attention to. You did study for chemistry? Yo, let's go. That's what we love to see. <laughs> Studying for chemistry is a, such a good decision, man. Hold on, just in case something happens. I've already started this run, but I'm going to put local recording on. Because uh, I forgot to do that at the start, but just in case something goes wrong with the stream. Yo, Brandino. Thanks for the good luck. At the free play portion now, let's go. That is the best portion of the run. Finished off all the Hogwarts stuff last night. Nice, nice. Love to hear that. 
Yeah, the free play stuff is definitely the best part of the run. Or the bonus levels. The bonus levels are probably the best. Re-explain Lumos jumps. Uh, so you... Hold on, let me go through the door. You ignite Lumos. Uh, and then switch off the spell and immediately spam jump. You can also do it by putting down a pet as well. No, not at all. You can do it literally anywhere. Yeah, I missed that. Okay. Haven't gotten it? Hmm, right. I mean, it is spamming jump, but it does need to be quite quick. Does the any percent run use a lot of out of bound strats? Um, yes and no. Um, actually, no. To be honest, it's more about moving quicker in bounds. There's a lot of stuff with sequence breaking, the intended order of certain sections, but. In terms of, like, actually getting out of bounds, it doesn't happen that often. There's a couple of spots where it does. 3-2, uh, you go, go out of bounds. 3-4, uh, you go out of bounds for Angry Tree Skip. But it's not like... They aren't the big out of bounds you get in, like, TCS where you go under the floor or something. There's none of that. Because by the time they got to this point, they semi knew how to program a game. Unfortunately. But there's still a lot of broken tech in this. It's just not that much in the way of out of bounds. Um, that's kind of the same with Fly Through 7 as well. Am I planning to stream until midnight? Um, well, this run is five and a bit hours long. So if I started just before seven, I forgot to split. We're about plus two though. Oh, sorry, minus two. Somehow. Yeah, no, basically if I'm, if I'm, if I manage to complete the run, then it will go on probably until about quarter to one in the morning. Good evening, Emma. How are you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, no, it's been so stormy today. <laughs> like... I've just been looking outside the window and going, oh my, that is, um, that is definitely some weather. <laughs> Yo, that's sick, Emma, congrats. But yeah, no, it's, it's been awful today. I mean, it's at the point where if I, like, sit downstairs, I can just hear the rain dropping off the, like, conservatory roof we have. Yeah, good idea, Brandino. It's a very cool uh, trick. It's not used too, too often. It would be used in this category, but we can't find a way of routing it, which means that um, it doesn't add an extra shop trip, which is a little bit annoying. I 
should be going here. Agreed to work an extra shift tomorrow as a emergency cover. Yeah, if you get extra money for it, then it's not too bad. Do you get, like, increased pay for that, or is it still the same? I uh, really wish there was a faster way to pick your red spell. Yeah, it's annoying the way it scrolls in both this game and in 527. It's quite annoying. Nah, still minimum wage. Ugh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, well, actually, for 100% completion of the game, you only need Transfiguration and Expelliarmus, because they both give gold bricks. Any of the red spells in the Spell Select shop actually don't count towards 100%, so we don't get them in this run. Um, we do buy one spell from that shop, and that's Accio, but that goes over Wingardium Leviosa, and that's because it allows us to go through doors. But it's, it's not a 100% requirement. Which is a decision that they made. Oh, only aggro. So, I'll think we don't have to pay for schools up until we're 18. And then obviously, if we go off to university, we have to pay tuition fees, but um, large portions of that are loaned to us. So the actual school fees for the year are loaned to us, and then we also get an extra loan on top of that for uh, like living while studying. So it's, it's a weird system with the loaning, because... Um, Well, it doesn't really work. I think I worked it out that, like, with the amount you have to pay back, you have to pay, um... Or you have to be earning 50,000 a year or something for the 30 years that you have to... Do you have to pay it back? And then at the end of those 30 years, it gets scratched off. So anything you don't pay back doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, likelihood is you will, Emma. If you if you come out with a, uh, say, masters you're doing, so yeah, the likelihood is you'll you'll be in a career where you do have to pay some of it back. We golding. Okay, I'm scared I missed something. Okay, that'll do. Well, US, it's like, apart from scholarships, it's pretty much self-funded, right? It's a completely different system. Whereas obviously over here, it's not so much. I mean, student loans are just weird. But, um, hey, it's money. where Harry's off to. That was not a great Lumos, but we got everything we needed. We are losing a bit. Uh, 30k in loans for a PhD. Whoa. That's rough.
That's the time save I forgot to do in the last run. We actually get the torch by where the Mandrake spawns before the Mandrake appears. Uh, because that means we can save time all the way going forwards in uh, the divination split. Just one more thing to consider in what, what you do next. Yeah. Most schools here are paid for by the government. That's fair. That's fair. I'm guessing like private schools and stuff aren't. But uh, that's a bit different. Yo, T Fresh, thank you for the GG and the good luck. Appreciate that. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, I was quite salty after the uh, world record. I, I understand your <laughs> level of salt when you got your record as well. Let's put it that way. It was, uh, I didn't properly celebrate it because of that, because I was just like, oh man, that could have been so much more if I hadn't just forgotten the gold brick. Yeah. I mean, you had that super annoying crash. Yeah, I could have had a low 1x. But I think I'm kind of like the same. Yeah. I'm kind of like the same, at least in year one and maybe year two as well. In that I'm kind of getting the same times that you were in Raki. In your Raki. Um, but obviously that doesn't mean anything because I still haven't had a good 3-4 split and I still haven't had a good 4-5 um, split. Yo, Henriksen, thank you for the good luck. Hope you're doing well. Oh no, I moved the frog. That was annoying. Speedrunning LEGO games is a workout. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. Yo, Alexa Chu, thank you for the, the what's up and the good luck. I'm not doing too badly. I seem to have woken up from when I started the stream, so that's always a good sign. Let's target this candle, because I need to get it. Oh, I'm meant to do these here. No... I'll do one and get the other one later. <laughs> Lord of the Rings time? Yo, that's such a based game, you know. It's a decent enough speedrun. It used to be better. <laughs> Thanks for the good luck, though, Arctic. Uh, we might be losing a bit of time here. <laughs> 3DS, surely. Rather 3DS and DS, right? That's the important uh, distinguish distinguishing factor. I'm so slow at the moment. I'm always scared that by splitting there, uh, the game is going to pick up my keyboard input and I'm going to have to try and like load the game on keyboard really quickly. Menuing. Let's go. Yes. 
We beat the menuing boss. Loves the fact that I just got a message from Popstone, the uh, Lego Batman speedrunner from France, just with a clip of their local news, or like French news, and apparently King Charles is in France right now. I had absolutely no idea, but that's that's cool. Right, jump on the thing. Thank you. Been grinding out those tutorial vids. It's not as regular as I would have liked. I've stopped doing them daily now because uh, life's getting in the way. But uh, they're still going. They're still going. We're up to what? Uh, just finished 3-3. Three, three. But the later we go, like, 3-4 is going to be an absolute nightmare to explain. 4-2 is going to be fantastic to explain because I love that level. 4-1 um, is going to be a nightmare to explain. <laughs> uh, what else? I think that's it. 4-5 will be easy to explain, because it's just like, oh yeah, hit them, they go out of bounds, mermaids suck. Yeah, no, the latest recap actually popped off. A lot of marathons like in LEGO games as well. Well, there's just more people going out to submit them now. We've got, um... So, uh, that I know of, we have three different marathons. Well, not three different marathons. We have three different runs in marathons this weekend. We have me and Origin doing Crest Rush Co-op for Potathon. Me doing All Students in Peril uh, for Potathon as well in this game. And uh, Hamster is doing Lord of the Rings on the GDQ channel. Uh, running for One of the Hotfixes. Which would be absolutely fantastic as well. And I'm on comms for that. So I've got to actually like know the game. Because that will go out to... A good few people. I think um, people are taking more notice on LEGO games now. I think they're kind of losing some of the prejudice that they were kind of just meme games that people ran. Because you did have some runners who did that. You had the likes of... Uh... I used to admit Lord of the Rings 3 3DS to a hotfix. Nice, nice. Didn't make it, but you're going to keep trying. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. 
I mean, I've never done anything with GDQ before. And, like, even just the sign-up process and stuff, it's a lot scarier than doing anything for ESA was. <laughs> like, I guess it's, it's a bigger reach. It reaches a lot more, um... That's sick. That is really cool. Yeah, that is super cool, Brandino. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm afraid of the big stage or anything, because, like, I've done this all for ESA, and the reach that ESA will get will be bigger than the reach a hotfix gets. Because uh, a hotfix tends to get, like, 2k, I think, viewers, and ESA was, like, 5, 6 at its peak. Yeah. And yeah, myself and some of the EU guys have kind of made it a tradition now that we're going every ESA winter. Which is, it's been going good. We've done it two years in a row, three years coming up. Nah, my comms aren't goated. I think I provide pretty average commentary when it comes to marathons. Because I think, like... I always feel like the things I say, I play it so safe. Because, uh... I mean, it's all, it's a better way to do it, but it's it probably comes across with the impression that I'm kind of holding back on the things I want to say. Not because I'm going to say anything controversial, but just because uh, it's like, oh, should I say that? Should I not? We've only got X amount of time to say this kind of stuff. Is this really important? And that's kind of all running through my head when I do a commentary of a run, especially on a big event like ESA. Um, but I think the commentary I'm probably proudest of was the LSW2 commentary we did at ESA for John's run. LSW2DS, that is. Because, I mean, the game is just... Like, LSW2DS is the closest a LEGO game gets to a meme run. Because it's just, uh... It's just, like, so not programmed well as a game that you can't help but laugh at it uh so that was that was quite fun like specifically the one cut scene in uh i think it's endor where the opening oh no it's speeder showdown i think where the opening cut scene is literally just luke and leia walking on a hill sliding down a hill and then it's like wow speeders and that's the cut scene Yeah, no, that's fair, Brandino. Um, I'm kind of the same. But I want to make sure I know my stuff beforehand. Why am I doing that? I need to do these. So, like, for Lord of the Rings DS... Not Lord of the Rings DS. For um, Lord of the Rings Any Percent. I'm going to properly sit down and watch, like, the entirety of one of Hamster's runs. Not make notes on it or anything. But obviously, I know the game. But, um... I kind of have a gap in my knowledge when it comes to the high FPS tricks. So I really want to make sure that I get those good. So I'm probably going to, like, either after this run tonight just before I go to bed or um, tomorrow morning or something. I'm just going to watch through the whole of Hamster's uh, recce. I mean, I don't do the same level of prep that 
Frost does when Frost is on comms. Uh, Frost really makes sure he's prepared. Like, we did a run of 5 through 7 any percent co-op for... It wasn't Legothon, it was... Um, I think it was when they had the really bad floods in Europe. And there was a flood, re flood relief uh, marathon that was kind of organised at short notice and we got the run in there. It was either that or Potathon. Uh, a while ago. And we did that. And Frost like, came up with a full list of all the things we needed to talk about. Which was great for me because I just had that up kind of on another monitor. as like a spreadsheet. And just kind of made sure that I'd paid attention to each one kind of as we went along. But I don't have the willpower to put in that level of prep for this stuff. Place climb, please. Okay. Never mind. Come on. Okay, we're fine. Painful, but we're fine. No. Oh. Um. Dude, shoot the cat! Oh my god! Don't take that out of context. We need Harry to be free here to pick up this crest. That is ridiculous that that's happened. I probably could have backed it up by getting the flowers in free play, but I didn't want to have to remember that. Like, four hours down the line. So we'll just tank the time loss now. Petrification would be kind of... Okay, yeah, it is Mrs. Norris. I'll give you that. I'll give you that it is Mrs. Norris. So it's, like, more acceptable. That doesn't mean it's acceptable, because, you know, all cats are precious. Even Mrs. Norris, to an extent, is still a cat. Like, she does have that virtue. That's about the only virtue she has, but she is a cat. Hmm. McGonagall and her Animagus form? Okay, yeah, true. That's fair. Yeah, 527 does need a big reroute, Crazer. Um, basically, Grey Lady Flying is so incredibly broken because it's overworld as well. That you can do it in. That basically... Everything can change with it. <laughs> like... The crest you'll be able to access earlier will be more. You won't have the need necessarily to get a Ravenclaw character, a Hufflepuff character. Because I believe you can just fly over the doors and into the triggers. You get Grey Lady early and make sure you can polyjuice Grey Lady. 
You did reroute Crest Rush today. Yeah, I mean, Crest Rush will be awesome. Like, it will be so cool. Especially Crest Rush co-op will just be absolutely goated now in 527. Actually, it would be restricted as well. With, um... Like, all of Crest Rush will be restricted barring a couple of clips. Hmm. 127 Crest Rush, anyone? But yeah, 527 100% does need a big reroute. With all the Grain Lady flying stuff. Improv 1P2C here. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. Okay, it worked. Good. Not a good year one so far. Uh, that's RNG though. That's literally just AI movement and RNG. Nothing I'm in charge of there. But we are losing time as a result. That was pathetic height on that first Lumos jump. Okay. Yeah, Seed probably said he was going to run Hundo some point in the future. Did you miss the world record stream for real? Um, when you in chat, I swear you said good luck. It was whatever the last stream I did was. Um, when was it? Monday evening? Afternoon? Yeah, Monday afternoon. Yeah, this is unfortunate, but out of my control. Gonna miss three and a half hours of the stream? No. It's fine. It's not looking good. Runs dead already. Let's ignore the fact that my best possible time is still 12 minutes below PB. Oh yeah, sleep. That's a that's a valid reason. <laughs> Don't know if you're in chat, fair enough. I thought you were, but that could just be me. There's a lot of people with kind of bluey purple names that becomes difficult to keep track of sometimes. <laughs> that sounds really bad. Oh, I'm, I'm getting too big as a streamer. No. Oh, that's not good. You need sleep when you have coffee. You know what, Emma does raise a good point, but I don't recommend it. Especially not at this time of night. Probably just be back when you get home. That's fair. That's fair. Sleep and school. Oh yeah, we're in, we're in school hours now. That's a good point. That was an audio glitch. That's new. Let's see if this works. Hopefully we'll skip the cutscene. We did not skip the cutscene. That's super annoying. So this can sometimes happen with this and I have no idea why it does. Uh, no, the UK is one hour behind you. So in the UK right now, it is currently uh, 807. 808. Bro, how am I getting grabbed by both of these, man?
This is not a good year one to start things off, but it's fine. It's it's a long run. We've got a lot of time to save if we do, do those kind of fun and cool things like not forgetting any gold bricks and not crashing. So true. So true. That worked? Wow, okay. Uh, we're probably still on pace with PB in this split. I'm really surprised that worked. I can't lie. Um... Because Harry hit his, like Harry bounced off the ledge, kind of where you can land, which normally messes up like everything with this, but somehow it didn't that time. So whether I just messed up something else as well and kind of like used the wrong formula but got the correct answer, I don't know, but I'm not going to complain. Of course, yeah, three brothers skip. The longest time three bro brothers skip had a bounty. Had it for ages. Yeah, it is a bad clip. I remember it. I did do some free play runs, although not good free play runs, because it wasn't that I didn't bond with the category, it's just not my kind of thing, I guess. Like, it's, it's fun as a technical exercise. Oh, we're talking like 50s, high 50s. Yeah, as a technical exercise, it's a fun run, but that's about it, really. It's not the kind of thing where I'm like, yes, I want to do 5 through 7 free play. Yo, Harry, thank you for the good luck. Hope you're having a good evening. Your 39 is still on the leaderboards. You're mad at your 35. Nah, you should get that 35 up there. If you still have the footage of it, of course. A hey, load remover's working. We love that. I'm not going to be losing... Actually, in this split, we will probably gain, like, not in this split, over from 2-1 to Expelliarmus, we're probably going to gain about 20 seconds, maybe 20 to 30 seconds, purely on the fact that the load remover is working. Because <laughs> I have not had it work yet in my golds. I didn't check my percentage at the end of, um, year one, so hopefully it's alright. I don't think I missed anything. It was a bad year one, but it was, um, not exactly in my control. The 30 seconds and 1-5 is kind of something that just randomly happens and you can't really avoid it. Because I did the setup right. The weather's taken out the TV again. Oh no. 
Is it really that bad up where you are? But I hope I don't have a power cut. If I have a power cut when I'm like five hours into this run, I'm going to be so mad. <laughs> 35 was 130 ahead, then 7 behind, and last three splits save 30 seconds. Nice. Hey, don't, don't, that's not a, that's not a thrown run. That is comeback of the century, you know? Mostly heavy rain with strong winds every so often. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, yeah, of course, it's freeze clips. Can you not move the freeze clip splits earlier in the run? So have, like, the first few be freeze clip splits. And then you'll need 8-1 up there, and you'll probably want 8-6 up there. Although 8-6 is like an auto-scroller, basically, with Great Lady flying. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, you do as much as you can. I know what it's like from Replay Story. I should run Replay Story again. I'm not happy with my time. I think looking at the boards now, there are five LHP records, one through four records, which I don't have at the moment. Two of them are practically unobtainable. Uh, that's free play, which Harazmi has, and all bonus levels, which Zerafix has. Those are like, there's no way I'm pushing those down. Um, replay story is achievable, but it's probably the more difficult of the three remaining. All crests, my PB is eight minutes behind record, which is really bad, but there's three minutes of new strats, and I reckon I can now do that kind of run on the same pace that T-Fresh could, or at least close to it, so I won't be losing as much time. Uh, and then any percent standard is a run that exists, which is why I haven't <laughs> done much with it. And Charles Oates' run is actually super good. Like, I want to get a sub 220, but then saving another minute and a half almost over that to get to record is going to be tough. Looking forward to Force on PC. Force on PC is going to be... It's, it's a new era for the game, a new arc. The Quasar first versus uh, Force Era is going to go hard, you know? How you not make it? Uh, I need the studs. Let's dive in. It's a bit slower to do, but uh, I need the studs. Cool races for low reset categories. Well, yeah, that's a lot of um, a lot of games do that. I'd call this game a low reset category. Well, this category, sorry, a low reset. Right, make the jump, Harry, please. Dude, jump. I am free play race. Yeah, that would that would be pretty cool actually. Mm. Harry Potter and the inability to make a jump. Now nah, that jump is literally it's one of the hardest in the run. In all honesty, it doesn't look much to get on that lamp, but it's actually 
like, quite difficult, especially where 1P2Cing Hagrid as well. So I'm having to do it in my 1P2C grip. It's a lot harder. Yo, VT, what's up, what's up? How you doing, my man? Is this golding? Nah, not quite. Lost point three. I mean, we probably lost more because load remover, but it's not too bad. That's fair, that's fair. Um, how's the pumpkin jack grind going? Are oh, you not grinding now? Fair enough. You'll say that right up until the moment you get a big world record in something. I, I definitely know who that is, VT. Pumpkin Jack, top runner. Right, fair enough. <laughs> but I thought you were the top runner, VT. How have we lost so much time? Oh, loads. Yes, of course. So this is just like what an average gold will look like, I guess, in these splits. We rescued the student in peril, let's go. Wow, you're really out here calling me a buffoon. That's a, that's a new one. Wait, what? Since when was this a thing? Wow. 
Oh, I'm going to a mobilis. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Wrong room. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to mention that. That didn't happen. <laughs> um... Uh, yeah, that didn't happen. No one saw that. <laughs> we, we don't talk about that. No, no. Absolute gameplay right here. I know which level a mobilis is. I can't believe I did that, man. That's a bad sign for this run. Yeah, but T-Fresh has been in chat. I can't be doing those things in front of T-Fresh, man. T-Fresh actually knows the game. As you know, to be fair, um... There's a few people in here around this game. I'm not gonna ban T-Fresh, man. First of all, he's a, he's a functioning member of the community. Second of all, he's my highest bits donator. I ain't doing that. Don't worry, the ghost is going backwards, but that's perfectly normal. I know what I'm doing this time. You're in the top five? Yeah, you are, because you've donated, like, two. So, actually two. Yeah, sounds about right. To be fair, in like a small stream, there's like no point in bits, you know? Because like, I mean, in bigger chats, you kind of, you'll donate bits to get yourself heard or anything, but like, that's not ever going to be the case here. <laughs> More than likely anyway. I'll need a few more raids from Nixo before that happens. And Justin as well. <laughs> yeah, sure, VT, we'll go with that. Alright, all crests, let's go. And XQC, yeah, I'll need a few XQC raids. Although there is absolutely zero point where my content and XQC's content lines up at all. So that would be just the weirdest crossover in, like, Twitch history. Apart from maybe Chuck E. Cheese streaming. Because that was a thing. hit the wrong one first. Clean enough though.
Nice. That was actually pretty good. Uh, last room, I just need to remember the Dobby token. See, a lot of this has kind of been committed to memory now, which is good. I still have the root up, but I, like, don't look at it anywhere near as much as I probably should. But hey, it's fine. We should be looking at some kind of free-ish golds here, because the load remover's working. And also, after expanding armor's reset, I think we save, like, 20 or 30. Because we had to reset the game twice, providing the load remover still works there. I didn't realise how much that looks like a really fake gold, my Mandrake split. Because I went from being about 40-ish behind, being 16-ish in front. Or well, not in front, but like, catching up by 25 seconds and then losing those 25 seconds in the next split. It just looks like I've splitted in the wrong place. Dobby! Right, yeah, we're golding this by about 20, I think. That was probably the best I've ever done it, and we'll save time because load remover. Yo, Seed, thank you for the good luck. Hope you're doing well. I'm glad you're here now and not in the immobilist split. Well, I definitely didn't try and go into the wrong room multiple times. Exactly. Exactly. That's a nice gold, though. Uh, potions. surprise category. Well, as long as you know what it is, then it isn't much of a surprise. But I'm guessing it's a surprise for everyone else. You just randomly decided? I mean... That's fair. Do we get to know a game or anything, or are you just going to keep it a surprise until we see the like 30 minute world record and PB posts? Just like we did uh, this morning? I think it was this morning when you got that other run. No, it might have been last night. Why am I dropping out so early? I need these clues. Now we drop out. It's 5 through 7. Let me guess, Crash Rush. Ah. All students in peril, that's a good guess. <laughs> Wait, I actually got you. <laughs> you should talk to Quasar about that. Seed is really stealing your idea. Quasar uh, come in earlier in the stream saying like, you spent the day uh, routing Crest Rush. Uh, like, uh, doing stuff with uh, Great Lady Flying and that. So uh, yeah, you both have timed that to perfection. That's actually quite funny that how how that timing's worked out. Oh. 
Um, I can hear the audio, but uh, the, the screen has happened. I'm going to count that as a crash. Uh, the, the load remover stopped as well. No, it hasn't. Okay, that was really weird. And now the load remover is not working because, of course, why would the game ever do something predictable? Go away, Spotify. I don't want you right now. So we're losing so much time here, because game. So why did it crash the first time? I don't know. Thankfully, that's like the shortest crash we can have in a room. But still not great. Oh, hello, hamster. Oh no, Emma, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you'll be able to survive that. Hey, got it that time. Nice. Oh, we missed a spawn. Okay. Um, I'll grab it anyway. It's fine. It's not too disastrous. We're definitely losing time in this split, which is funny. Because this split had time save. Oh, look. We can go in the potions room. Damn, that would be crazy. This is a painfully long load. Okay. TV satellite crashed 10 times in 35 minutes. That is brutal. Drink's a thing, man. Why why you no drink, run? So we're gonna go back to about a minute behind, which is great. Out of my control. Can't believe the game crashed on the title screen. got the bricks so we don't need to worry about that we'll build the thing when we go over to 25 so that's all good nothing to do in this room 1p2c we just do trophy jump might as well hit the other thing Yeah, Crest Rush does seem interesting. Um, 
How many out of bounds triggers can you hit? Like how many end triggers can you hit? While doing it. Because obviously stuff like 8-5 out of bounds would be useful. No need to if you can exit, true. But you'll still have some for like metro doors. Yeah, small triggers make sense. But you won't do the difficult ones because there's no need to. I need a boys bathroom split on these splits. So this is just one P2C for this room and then we get the fish in the next room. Need to switch to run here. Yeah. Cool. I think we're actually saving a decent bit of time here. We should be anyway. Yo ho ho, it's it's Arctic. Hmm. Return of the King is such a banger movie. Yeah, it is. Although, I haven't seen it all the way through. <laughs> I've seen like every part of it in segments, but I haven't seen it in like one sitting yet. I was gonna watch them, but then they got removed from Netflix over here, which is very sad. The Hobbit was still on Netflix though. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not going for the CSS, don't worry. Oh, you've been watching the extended version in multiple settings. The extended version is what, like three hours 40? It's longer than Fellowship. Oh, four and a half hours. Great, okay, I was a bit off. This Fellowship three hours 40 then. This is a big gold. It's amazing how much difference it makes when, uh, <laughs> don't know, just when, when you're good at the game, I guess. Actually, that's a lie. When I'm okay at the game, yeah, we'll go with that. See, so you're doing a crest rush run right now and getting sub one hour. That'd be, yeah. I mean, I don't know how long the crests are, but if free plays like 30 something minutes, I can see Crash Rush getting um under that time. Sub one free, really. Yeah, 
Yeah, nice Myrtle. Sub 1 is free. Sure it is. Good phase two. Yeah, there we go. That's fair, that's fair. What is the current press rush record to then? Because I mean, whatever it is, it's going to be absolutely smashed. By either of you. 123? Oh, yeah. Either of you will be able to smash that. Just like you guys on YouTube, so smash that like button. Because this run will definitely be going on YouTube. If I come back and PB, it will though. Oh no, the I was I was here um stuff has already started. That's a bad sign for the rest of this run. Oh he did have strength potion. Yeah, to be fair, seed, every game is your game. But five through seven is probably I'd say five through seven is probably your best game. It's definitely the game you've run for the most depth. Well, again, Quasar, it's, it's a game you spent the most time in. is golden. It's a lengthy cutscene. Maybe you'll submit your any percent PB soon. You should, you should. Mate, it's like a 111. It's three minutes behind. Oh no, it's not even a 111. It's it's super good. You're the best Lego Movie 2 runner on the market. Wait, are you telling me Arctic is a chimkin ult? No way. That's crazy. It's so good you don't even own it. Ah, oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> That's how you can tell you're truly good at the game. If you don't own it. Well, I mean, I've never seen the two of them in the same room.
needed to make sure I hit Hag Hagrid's garden before going in. So we might lose a bit of time here. I don't think we will. Depends on the last crest, really. Or the crest. Not active, you just run something every once in a while. Yeah. A lot of 527 stuff after the relay. Because of Grando. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. I mean, I that's why I'm going to keep up the 124 stuff. <laughs> now I've been called in for uh, 124 Hundo. In that. Man, 124 Hundo will be so long. Or just that that in general. How long would how long is Grando? Like what's summer records right now? Is it It's quite a lot. <laughs> Paid a Super Bowl to advertise 527 speedruns. Okay, dude. If you have that kind of money, then go for it. How much does an advertising spot at the Super Bowl go for? 56 a summer world record. Okay. Is that including uh, Evan's latest PB? Fifty-five when you run five two seven standard again. Yeah, with a. Uh... With Grey Lady flying and all that fun stuff, then yeah, that category can go down so much. What do you reckon you could get a uh, 527 run down to then? Sure, we'll go with that, Arctic, we'll go with that. Nine minutes to a crash and played poorly, right. Yo, Chazite, thank you for the good luck. Hope you're doing well. That was clean enough. That's probably the best I've ever done that, actually. So, um... If we remember the crest at the end and the student in peril here. Possibility of golding. Watching the Champions League right now. Is it Liverpool playing tonight? Buying Manu, right, okay, yeah. Newcastle put in a strong performance yesterday, to be fair. They did pretty well. I mean, I, I know it was a goalless draw, but that's still a good result, given how long they haven't been in the UCL for. I mean, Celtic were decent as well, but there's still, like, question marks over them. Yeah, that is indeed a catapult arctic. More accurately, it's a Paxo throw, but I'll give you catapult. Yeah, Bind Man U will be interesting. I want Harry Kane to score a hat trick. Not that I'm biased or anything, but I want Kane to score a hat trick. left, we now go right, right. I like the fact that the bike is ahead. We might be able to drop in and uh... Come on, get off.
How did we miss the purple there? That's gonna be bad for stud cans. Get off, man! What is this? Bro, this spider. <laughs> it's still on. What? I mean, at least we, you know, did the crest and stuff. But we're still golding. Which says a lot about how well that split usually goes. <laughs> Honestly. Ariadne, where's that from? That's not ha no, that's not Harry Potter. Where's Ariadne from? I know the name. I feel like that's a reference to something, and I really should know. Is it just Greek mythology? My yeah, it is Greek mythology. Okay, cool. My uh, my Percy Jackson knowledge just about came in clutch. King Minos helped Theseus escape the Minotaur before being abandoned by him on Naxos. Yes. Yes. I am with you. I am picking up what you're throwing down right there. It's nice that we actually have a reason to kind of 1p2c this part rather than just waiting for the build to happen because we go and get studs with Harry so it's a very nice purple and it blue just there No, not an unread book. Can't be having that. Nah, that's fair. Fifty to two hundred unread books on your shelf? Oh, I could never. I couldn't do that. I have at the moment one. Although it's the last book of a trilogy, 
and I haven't finished the first book of the trilogy yet. <laughs> But I have a chance to actually read books now, because uh, earlier today I broke my earphones for my phone. So, if I don't want to watch a YouTube video out loud, which I usually don't because my parents judge me, um, I'm going to be reading. Catalogued all your books, made Harvard referencing so much easier. Yo, that's a good point and something I don't have to think about, which is very nice. School. That's fair, that's fair. That's kind of a habit I've been getting myself into, but I want to get myself out of it. Because I do like reading, just for fun. I just don't do it enough. Uh oh, don't mod check reading. Reading's great. Someone have been on your shelf for at least 15 years. Wow, okay. That is a that is a sizable amount. I need to sort out my shelves because it's full of random stuff at the moment. Rather spend an hour a day learning a language rather than reading. I mean, that's fair, Seed. That is fair. But, um. That really depends on your view of reading. Like, if you're reading for a purpose, then obviously that's something different. Yeah, if you have a book you like, you'll read it, yeah. Like, obviously, there's so many things you can do which are more productive than reading, just in the same way there's so many more things you could do that are more productive than failing to play a violin in LEGO Harry Potter years 1 through 4. But that doesn't mean it's not fun. You don't go hunting for books, that's fair, that's fair. Cool. Didn't turn enhanced graphics on this time. Come on, warp. There we go. As if by command. <laughs> Me when reading com complex live split setups. That's actually, like, mm, true. That does take up a lot of my reading now. I'm trying to, well, not necessarily live split, but it's like <laughs> me when reading one through four hundred percent route. That's the one for me at the moment. We are losing a little bit of time in this split. Yeah, I mean, that's fair, Emma. You've kind of had other things on your plate. That's fair, that's fair. I mean, it's, it's your free time. You're free to do whatever you want with it. Uh, I have no idea what that is, Quasar. I I get what you mean, Emma. I have been like that, and I've been trying to get myself out of it by like meeting up with my mates. But it's it's can be quite difficult sometimes. Okay, so we say we saved some time in this year. Load remover's not working again, though. 
Yep, so we're going to have to reset again. Let's reset during a load, see if that makes a difference. Nope, game's decided it doesn't want to work. Uh, you have lessons and also free time where you need to make tasks due to a deadline. I mean, that's kind of just uni, right? Like university. So 18.5%, that's perfect. Well, it's the only version of live split I've got going, and there's only one auto splitter. So. Like, there's only one file in the scriptable auto splitter, it's the 124 auto splitter. Who knows? It's great, because before the run, I think it's it's something to do actually with the length of the run. And that's messing up with something. Like the amount of splits I have or something ridiculous. Because um, I tried it before the run. And I was able to reset three times in a row and it was absolutely fine. And I was resetting in like bad points. Yo Musk, thank you for the good luck. Musk is really doing Twitch's work for them. We love to see it. I still read it as September though, but it's it's you actually spelt it sub September. Which honestly sounds better as a month. That is that that is also something you could do. Yeah, pet warp September. I can't even say September now. Yes, pet warp September. That's that's what I was after. Oh no, we've got Musk becoming any gifters? Question mark. Oh, that is not fun, Emma. Wait, there's a new summoning salt vid. Let's go. That's why he just released one, though. He just released the um. Uh, the what's it called? What's the game? It's not Castlevania. But it's 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 the second one. Oh yeah, I think I have watched that then. Um, what's it called? The game that is. Can't even remember. Did, 
Did Crookshanks really jump into the trigger? Oh, well, like... Okay, yeah, Crookshanks really put himself in the Malfoy trigger, that's great. Wait, you're not subscribed to him, Musk? How have you managed that? Thanks for blessing the run. Well, the LB1 villain FP progression is like, and Loz got world record, and then got it a couple more times, and then, oh my god, Musk got world record, this is the best thing to happen. <laughs> Everyone buying Kane scored. Yo, let's go. It was 2 0 at half time as well. The journey of Musk, the goat. True. So we're going to be losing like 30 seconds here to gold. <laughs> 3 1 is news from Azkaban. No, 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 no. 3 1 is now buy buying Kane scores. Yeah, I saw that seed, don't worry. But thanks for the reminder. I didn't actually see your message in chat, but uh, thankfully, I was paying attention for once. <laughs> Hobbit countries, sure. We'll go with that. All right, what do I need to do uh, after this? I need to get Torch, and then P1 goes to the classroom by the skip. Cool. And then after this, we have one PTC. The Shire count as a Hobbit country? Well, it's... I, I guess? I don't know. I don't know the division of Hobbit lands and Tolkien lore, I'm gonna be honest. It's not my strong point. It does, to be fair. It does. <laughs> Harry Potter is Lord of the Rings, but with heavier focus on magic. Annoying. Mm. 
How do we not get the interrupt with Hermione? That's like the easiest thing in the world. I'd, I'd say Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings are quite different. in Germany. <laughs> Sam just carries like the entire the entirety of Lord of the Rings is just the Samwise Gamgee podcast. It's great. No way he failed a puzzle for six year olds. Okay, not great. Yeah, this is the that's the one thing this game is missing, a student in peril detector. Um yeah. Hundred percent. But that's why I ran all student in perils before touching Hundo.
Dude, that's the second time that's happened. I'm like not even outside the circle. What do you mean? Gold though. Yep, 4-3. You need to know which cabinet to hit with Reducto, really, to be able to get it first try. Yep, nice menuing. I'm beginning to think this isn't a great run. I mean, we're what, 14 seconds ahead with multiple minutes to save. So yeah, dude, this run sucks. Nice ghost RNG. The fact that it just doesn't appear is always great. Probably, yeah. Camera pan overlap. Camera pan overlap. That was clean. <laughs> that was not what I was intending, but that was clean. <laughs> I need to switch Harry to Hermione at the start of this section as well. This is the best buck beak I've had in a long while. Oh, it's happened till five. This is for a cutscene skip. Three, skip. Yeah, I mean, that's true, Emma, but then you also look at the ambiguity that, like, some students really don't look like they're in peril, even though they supposedly are. I like the way I move that lantern across to make uh, bridge jump easier, forgetting that we don't actually need to do bridge jump in this category. Uh, yeah, P2 on Hermione, Hermione on Pet, that's good. Got a couple of ghost studs there. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a game designed for kids, if, which is a good point. I think one of my cats has just wandered in. Not into my room, but into the hall outside. And he's very loud, so I can definitely hear cat noises. He's been hiding all day, so I think the rain's finally eased off and he's dived inside. Cat reveal. The problem is, that cat in particular, Mars, is a pure black cat. Which is, he's absolutely beautiful, but he's, um, he comes across awfully in photos. It's just like, what's that there? Oh yes, it's the void where a cat should be. Oh, that's interesting. I've never heard of that one. Like, at all, ever. That is very weird. Maybe if you reloaded the area, it would have worked? Helping your young cousin 100% the game at the time? Right. I swear, like... Somehow, kids just managed to find the most weird ways of breaking the game. Needed to reset the console and then it worked. Right, okay. I mean, that might just be a console-specific thing of it, like, not loading in. Because obviously less powerful hardware. Not like anyone plays the Wii version in 2023. That's true. The last time I played it was 2022. That sounds sarcastic, but that's actually not a lie. The last time I played the Wii version was 2022. And I did the bonus levels. Just to kind of see if they were just as broken on, uh, on Wii. I think I was actually showing a couple of my mates just how broken it is. And it's like, oh yeah, you can Lumos jump. <laughs> yes, that is true. It did, it did come out the Wii Remote. You aimed with a uh, point mechanics, right, as well. <laughs> like when aiming spells and stuff, it was point, I think. That one's weird to me. Because the problem I have is my Wii remotes and console probably is too busted to actually like do that properly now. It was either aiming with point mechanics or it was aiming with the nunchuck or something. Ah, I missed it. And yeah, all my stuff is way too broken for that now. Uh, this is golding though. We got both crests, so good. I don't think I've ever hit three for three on the cutscene skips and got first try transfig. So that's the save. Uh, yes, so um, you can do in this game, you can do what's known as a CSS. If you pause on the very first frame the cutscene starts, then the game updates the flag of um, like story progression, but it doesn't save your progress. So this only works for some cutscenes as well, the cutscenes that are like an abrupt start rather than a slow fade out. 
but it's a universal tech used in any percent specifically. And there's a consistent way of kind of getting the frame perfect pause by alt tabbing. But it's um yeah, it's any percent only in levels. Any percent and all Hogwarts students in perils only, technically. Because it doesn't store the progress of the level. It's not only in that level, it's in one four, one six, although that's not useful in the speedrun. Two two. 2 3, 2 4, 2 6, 3 2, 3 3, 3 4, 3 5, although it's not useful in the speedrun, and 4 4. Technically, there is a way to do it in 4 2 as well, but uh, not yet. Or well, there is a way to do it, but it's not viable at the moment. need that. Yo, cool. When sub 5? Maybe soon? I don't know. I'm hoping after this run, in all honesty, that my sub is sub 5. Because it was a 507 when I started. And I have been up to a minute behind in these splits and brought it back. Posted your cat in LSR Discord. Yo, yo, let's go. We do love cat content. Oh, Sounds very cute. I did get the crest. Yeah, I did. That should work. I have a much better feel for Filch Diagro than I ever used to have, which is great. Um, I need to start looking forward for stud count now, because I'm not sure what our stud count is at the moment, but we need 800k by the end of 3-5, ideally. Uh, we feed them portions, so... Um, well, we have two. Both male. But, um... We don't feed, we like feed them pouches of food three times a day and then they have um, dry food to kind of top them up as well. If they want uh, at the other times and then a bowl of water obviously as well. I mean no matter what we feed them, the pure black cat, Mars, will always, and I mean always, um, like, go out and get what we call a takeaway, because basically just he goes out and catches mice. Big bowl of dry food, yeah, that's fair. That's a good way of doing it, and we did that with our previous cats, but we don't do that with these. Mostly because, kind of, when the weather gets hotter, we want to make sure that they have their water content. Because they're not the best at drinking from the water bowls. So we want to make sure they still get proper water. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. Your cat is incapable of hunting. See, our two cats are completely different personalities. Mars, who is a pure black cat. Um... Over the weekend, uh, Sunday and Monday, actually, I was at home on my own. In two days, he brought in three mice for me to 
clean up slash catch and release somewhere safe away from him. Mercury, who's my other cat, who's a striped cat. Like a tabby cat, but stripey. He is pretty incapable of hunting. There are occasional times when he catches something, but he just looks so thoroughly confused as to what to do once he's caught them. Yeah, that's due to DADA jump. Uh, not in this game, no. We have one sequence break in this game, and that's because we can skip two dash or skip three dash one in categories where you don't need to re enter three dash one, so any percent. Dude, my ghost RNG has been awful. This ghost is just straight up not appearing. We're not gonna make the, um... Well, it's highly unlikely that we're gonna make the cut for 3-5. Nick is clearly just attending his death day party, which is apparently all year round, I guess. Five through seven is definitely anything but played in the intentional order. I refuse to accept that comment, Quasar. Even in Hundo, it's played out of order, right? Yep, nice dude. Thanks game. I love when the game just like hesitates on the last jump before the wall so you can't actually tell if you've made the top or not. That's such a fun feature. It's fine. I'm still yet to get a good angry tree skip so... It did it again but I was wise for it this time. But we get first try angry tree skip, so we only lost like 15 seconds here. Why Patronus? Oh, Lumos even. Alright, we'll go with Harry then. Skill presence? Sure. Did I land on the thing? If I have, that'll be the first time I've done that. Means we definitely make this cycle.
So we got the crest. We don't need to worry about that crest in free play, which is quite nice. And instead, we can do the easier one piece strats, but it does mean we lose about 15 seconds. Uh, probably not to gold. You're, you're going to sleep in five minutes? Okay, I'll try and complete the game in five minutes then. It might be close. I might overshoot by like three hours, but I'll try. Should be doable, yeah. Should be. If all goes well. Bit of bad RNG there. Yo, true wizard? No way, that's crazy. Crazy. I was crazy once. No, I'm not doing that. Not today. I'm, I'm not going to be doing that. I have decided. <laughs> so this is quite a lengthy cutscene, and then the end cutscene is about a minute. So if we can end this level before 7.25, we should be golden. Crazy Dave impersonation? Yo, we could go with that. I am I do not have any idea how to voice that Crazy Dave though, but what a mad lad he is. Yo, Plants vs Zombies is such a good game. I need to replay it actually. I have the Steam version. Yo, PVZ stream anyone? Anyone down? Yeah, I'm currently in the um, in the middle of playing through Hollow Knight. That's my casual game at the moment, and man, it's such a good game. But I am so bad at it. Don't worry, I had zero intention of playing the Garden Warfare versions. On every platform? Oh, brilliant. That sounds like the only way to avoid hacking is to hack back. Which I do not recommend in any situation, just avoid the game. <laughs> sounds like a safer bet to me. That's awful. So many games have that though. Like, there's so many good, like, multiplayer games. It doesn't necessarily tend to be the very top tier ones, but there's so many that just have that, those kind of security bugs. EA just avoided their game. Yeah, it makes sense. EA moment. Certified EA moment. That was a nice gold. 33 seconds. With probably about 25 seconds more I could save over that. That's why you play 3DS, no security worries. True. Yeah, we're um, we're not gonna be able to buy time times eight by the end of this level, or highly unlikely that we will. They give you limping run just for that section. Oh, you know what's even better? They really did not program limping run. Uh, if you pull out a pet with run, and then obviously put it back, run goes run goes back into its full running state. And that persists for any soft loads, but then every hard load, it resets to limping state. Because in any percent, you can frame perfectly skip the cutscene at the end of 3-4, but that places you on the overworld by Hagrid's hut. So Ron's movement's actually important to do kind of a skip on the overworld known as bridge jumping. To get to, um... To get to the courtyard. Uh, Lego games are not even held together with that. 
Like, that is a compliment to a LEGO game, if you're saying it's held together by rubber bands in a dream. Basically, Lego Ron when he's limping. Oh no. So all you need to do, Emma, is get a pet rat and then put them on the floor and pick them back up again. And then all of a sudden you'll be able to walk normally. It's not a common remedy, but it will work. Keeping a pet rat is a lot of work. Well, that's why Ron only managed it for three years. Ooh, controversial. Where was Hermione going? Hermione was just out of there. It's Hermione. Hey, it's Hermione. I think my brain's starting to get to that point where it's like, yes, let's say dumb stuff now. Yo, let's go. <laughs> it's been watching the runs, yeah. Gotta love uh, Potter Puppet House. So with the way the shop trip is, I think I'm actually going to... Well, I know what I'm going to do for shopping. Because obviously we can't... Um, we won't have enough studs to get... Uh, times 8 studs right now. Okay, game. I won't question it. You do you. How much time are we losing here? It feels like a lot, but this is a shortcut scene. This is really only like a 15, 16 second cutscene. Yeah, it is. A bit longer, so we are losing a little bit. Not much at all, though. Poor Sirius. So, I'm going to skip the next split. And, um... Yeah, I'll skip this split. I'll keep the 3-6 split in, though. I could skip the 3-6 split so we can see when the roots line up at 4-1. Like, how everything properly is, but I think this is fine. No ghost as well. Bad RNG. Should have put the wheel on there. That's annoying. That's a camera pan.
So normally we like to be um like completely clear of uh or we'll have times eight studs here. So that we can just immediately um There's words here, give them a minute. So we can just immediately buy times eight studs and then be good. Obviously not possible this run. Which is annoying because having times 16 studs in this level is like you're set for the run. Flask, hat, moon star. bit too far there. Yes, that, that is a very cool feature that they added in. Props to TT Games for making that. I kind of want to get True Wizard here. I think we will with the blues that are behind the back of these barrels. And we should be good for 800k after 369. That was late with Hermione. Hopefully that doesn't mess up Dementor spawns. It didn't really. I need to get Hermione, like, away. Good thing if you spam left and right while in the um, ice blocks, you can actually unfreeze yourself. That's a fun fact. Okay, super good plunger push. The mine is making noises again. Uh, this is good, good time save. We got both crests. Yeah. This is very good. Um because this isn't the longest cutscene. I had the problem with resetting the game here because enhanced graphics and all that shenanigans in PB. Which I didn't have to worry about in this run. Which is why we're saving so much. The annoying thing with this is routing at the moment. Is speedrunning easy or hard? Um, a run like this, it's easy to do, but it's very difficult to kind of master. Please work. It does depend on the game, yeah. Nope. Here we go again. Yeah, it depends on the game. Like Breath of the Wild speedruns, for example, just to pick a random game. Super difficult. Yeah, 3D Zelda's. The difficulty for a game like this is playing with two controllers at the same time. Or controlling both characters at the same time, I should say. We're actually a little bit short. No, we're not. Lighting Majora's Mask? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, 
yeah, the tricks are super difficult in a game like that. Right, I'm going to go for a pee. I'll be back. Oh, that sounds very fun. Most tricks being frame perfect. I mean, there's a lot of frame perfects in this game, actually, but there are. Yeah. They can also be set up to be not too bad. Goblet of Fire is the worst adaptation of the HP films. The problem is with Goblet of Fire, they were really stretching for content. <laughs> like, in the speedrun, you can tell how much more overworld movement there is in Goblet of Fire compared to every other year. Yeah, that is not the best choice. Um, but to be fair, it's not my favourite film anyway, so it's like, they were kind of at a hiding to nothing with it. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, Brenda, you know. Yeah. I mean, Prisoner of Azkaban worked alright. It wasn't like the film I wanted it to be, let's say. But it was okay. That is true. That is very true. Uh, I should turn on. Oh, that's super annoying. That's actually really bad. We didn't get any of the purples under the stud magnet. Oh, not stud magnet, the stud multiplier. So we missed out on whatever 15 times uh, 13k is. 195k. That's annoying. So we might have to make some up. Yeah, that is true, ben Brandino. That is true. Do 
do. That was 4 3 in the end. Close game. But Harry Kane scored, so I don't care. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's completely different when you have an adult's perspective. On a lot of these, actually. Not just, um. Yeah. That struck me as weird. It's. Seems a very sexist way of doing it. But then. We know what JK Rowling's opinions are like, and they're, they're not great. So. Yeah. <laughs> Enough said about that, really. Yeah, there's definitely themes running through of her ridiculous opinions. And extremely outdated opinions as well, in places. Flask, moon, star, hat. Yeah, there's, there's, there is stuff like that. I mean, again, as, as we've said before, 1P2C, like, it's super difficult when you're trying to do it on the fly. I mean, it's not exactly easy when you know what you're doing. It definitely gets easier. I can say that much. It definitely gets easier. Oh, nice. First try. What is the biggest thing, kind of, for the runs? In terms of it's it's what takes the learning curve on them. But when people come into the community, and we get this quite a lot, then a lot of people think, Oh yeah, but like, people like small ant and stuff do it, so it, mu it must be fine, you know? It must be easy. They do it one person uh, with, like, hands, one person with, with feet. That must be absolutely fine, but no, because you need to go through the door, man. You need two fully functional characters to be able to get it. Absolutely. 
no one has any idea how difficult a certain trick or something is until they've done it themselves. And a lot of that does come through. Oh yeah, I have a ton of time to save here because I was dumb in PB. I was like, oh yeah, I'll do the 1P2C skip, it's easy. And then it's, it's not. Yeah. I mean, I'm fine with people asking questions. But when people are asking questions being, like, basically asking for a leading answer. Like, yeah, that's not always true seed, but in the context of a big runner, a lot of the time, I mean, the common one is um, SM64, why aren't you doing carpetless? Sure, that's changed because there is actually sort of a setup for carpetless now. But uh, that always used to be a thing that at least one person in the stream would come in and say, why would you do that? Even though it's a strat, someone gets... Um, Or, like, has been got two or three times, you know, ever. Mm -hmm. See, I do agree with that seed, but that's in the context of Lego. We're talking about big, big runs, big streamers, you know? Which is, of course, completely different. I'll get the carrot here as well. Won't pick up the token yet, but I'll get the carrot. Yeah, I think that's it. Especially in a big chat, it's easier to assume that. Like, um, uh, it was the, um, <laughs> uh, the guy that was, uh, in my chat, he was just like, why aren't you, uh, or go back and buy all characters now. First time you're thinking, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then did it like about 20,000 times in a row. And at that point you're kind of like, yeah. I know you're just doing it for a joke now. I've asked you to stop. You're getting the ban hammer. Yeah, no, 4 4 is incredibly short as a level. True wizard. I'm not going for the 1P2C skip this time. Earth. Not egg. It is earth. We are going French out here. How's the run? It's mid, hamster. <laughs> we are not going French. Okay, fair enough. I can't argue with that. You're quitting Lego, it's mid. Oh, finally I have a chance of getting some Hobbit records then. Let's go. Full time Fortnite stream. Oh no, we lost another one, boys. Yeah, I agree with you, Brandino. I do agree with you. But no, this, this run is, it's all right. I mean, we're saving a lot of time here. We might even be golding. <laughs> succumb to the dark side, true. Yeah, but hamster, I can't take them because I don't run on a NASA PC. Ah, just missing the gold. That is genuine time save, by the way. Something something by a 3060 Ti. Oh, that would be nice. 
I think I need to do a few more streams before I can get to that point, you know? Turn multipliers on, then buy the graphics card? No, because that means it'll be more expensive. Surely. <laughs> no, you're right, you're right. Just just get times 10 and then get paid. Easy. So we need to get 5 out of 7 here. Use my computer all the time, I may as well. I mean, yeah. But the thing is, that's not how I think. Cool. Did a bit of spending yourself. Nice, nice. One dash one free play. Probably the best free play in the run. I do love one one free play. It's definitely actually not the best free play in the run, but I do like it. How many Gringotts bonus levels are there? There are 10. And every single one of them is based. Cool, cool. New Tom the Innkeeper world record, percent world record. Yeah, to be fair. Uh, could you skip most of it with out of bounds? So, no out of bounds. Everything we do in those levels is in bounds in terms of the fact that it's inside the playing area. Um,. But basically with Lumos jumps you can get over most of the walls that are in each level. Uh, with pet warps you can basically get right to the gold brick in a couple of levels. Uh, and with a couple of other tech with broomsticks. 
how do you pet ward? Uh, I will explain in a minute once I bought Fang and a uh, Raven Callboy first, then Fang, then Grip Hook. Okay, we've got Padma instead, that's fine. Easy either way. I just need to concentrate for this section. Uh, yeah, I did hamster. Oh, I got Dobby as well. Oh well. Nah, you're good, hamster. You're good. Um, but yeah, so you target one character with Wingardium Leviosa and then put the pet down while they're being targeted. P2 should be run here. Yes, yeah, so you put the pet down while targeting the other character with Wingardium Leviosa. And what that does is it, uh, there were words, give them a minute. It, uh, basically interrupts the pet being put in the position it should be. Nice, we get that. See, I'm not sure, Hamster, because you save time, obviously, on every save, but you lose time on no cut. You lose time because, uh, for example, when you com complete the bonus levels, you tend to go for um, left one first. Wait, no. It is Lumos first. I just forgot to split. There we go. But yeah, for um, like overall movement, like when you complete the bonus levels, when you finish your shop trip, it's faster to exit to menu and then re-enter. If you're doing a... Uh, like continuing without saving, you obviously can't do that. So it's a bit of a balancing act, I think. Also, it's great that I've spawned everything here. I completely forgot to do this room. So we'll just do this now. Nice, got the overlap as well. It probably still is a bit faster. Oh, this is actually perfect overlapping, you know. Yeah. No, Ron's bogger animation is actually like awful. How long it is. Which is why we always try and use Hermione for Bogarts or even Harry with them um, once he gets Patronus. 
I think in order it goes Hermione should be Hermione's the fastest, then Harry, then like the regular Voldemort bogger that you can get. And then uh Ron's. Like Ron's is just ridiculously slow. We didn't quite get the camera, which meant I could access that straight away, but we're still golding. Because you split on the exit here. Very nice. We want Harry to be Fang. Moon, Blast, Hat, Star. Please just hit the thing. Don't forget the gold brick. Which which gold brick? Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah, I won't. You've got me panicking there, Emma. Um, I mean, Fang is just incredibly cool. No one can tell me otherwise. Still made the cycle. That's a deceptively hard jump, actually. How did he not get hit? What? Quidditch Harry is like your does what he says, does what it says on the tin, kind of run in the mill kind of guy. But I do like the outfit. And it is well created, well recreated in this game. Man, my PB here, is, or my gold here is actually nuts. Like, because that was good. zoned out forgot I wasn't on that split yet so that split is transfix sub area so it's not too far away now oh you can shoot those from way further off than I thought you could sometimes can I spawn on the token not quite I mean Fang is a very cool character but in terms of like actual aesthetic appeal. He's not the best looker, bless him, in this game. I think he was done a bit dirty in this game. You're gonna, like, actually... Bro, target the pixie, man. 
that could have gone better. Never positioned myself here before. Yeah. I mean, the game is faithful to the book, actually, for Fang. No, Snape. Oh, that's such a loss. Okay, that was mean. I'm sorry. So this is where we do pat. Get the gold brick, which I promise I will never miss again. It does mean we are comparing against a fake gold here as well, which I need to change after this run. How has Fang got hit with Transfig there? And Snape. Froge, exactly. We didn't even get good RNG either of the times we had to do it either. I bet we're just waiting for this rat to make its way in and then that's it. No, we got more. Top path? Really? Dude, how much more do we have left? What? There we go. Not surprising, we're comparing against a fake gold. And now we have the most annoying cleanup split. Actually, second most annoying cleanup split in the run. Please, wrong walk. There we go. I just dislike these broomstick flying sections. I never noticed that before. Um, while you're in the Polyjuice menu, if you're on a broomstick, like a Polyjuice icon appears where your player icon normally does. I've never noticed that before. You learn something new every time you speedrun this game. Normally, it's a really bad thing that you learn, but this time, Actually, kind of cool.
Definitely not me just targeting a random NPC for no reason. Yo, Yasubi, thank you for the good luck. Hope you're doing well. I don't know if I've had this rant on stream yet. Snape sucks at walking upstairs. Like, look at the speed difference between the two. Like, genuinely, it's something with Snape's hitbox. Um, because in the next room we're going to go into, I have to use the Mandrake with Hermione. If you use the Mandrake with Snape, then you actually can't go up the stairs to where you need to go. This is just, um, student peril parcel. Yeah, no, that's fair. This is a more simple section to do 1P2C, so I do not blame you. To be honest, great place to learn 1P2C. Hey, you know, we're always on the lookout for new runners. And, uh, you know, we do have a speedrunning tutorial now, so, uh, why not? Not that I'm putting any pressure on you or anything, but it would be cool to get another runner into the game. Because it is a fun game. It's not as openly broken as a game like 527 is. DS or PC, actually. I missed one? What? Oh, yeah, I missed one. Duh. That's dumb. We're going to be losing a bit of time here because I do not have brain. <laughs> Seems pretty balked. Yeah, that's a good way of describing it. We're going to snake, snay, say goodbye to Snape for the moment. Forgot we had fast dig. Harry, please. Thank you. <laughs> Fang does openly taunt the existence of walls. That is true. That was really clean on both sides. I'm um, sorry to hear that, Force. Hopefully you're a, a bit better now. Yeah, so that time loss is from the stairs in, drag in the greenhouse. How's the run going? The run is going, you know? It's, um... I mean, the early game, like the first couple years, not great. But it's really picked up, actually. A 
every time this never works. But it always works on the save, so it's okay. we get the puzzle thingy. Not quite, just missed it. You can um, get Hermione onto the puzzle spot and get the puzzle spot to work before uh, or while the camera pan is playing. Actually have to do your job tomorrow? Oh no. Can't be hiding doing in the stockroom. You hate to see it. I mean I'm sure there'll be like one or two sweet kids that will walk in and need shoes, maybe. Oh I did get one out of five on those, that's really useful. This is an annoying wrong walk. That's true, yeah, the storms will have an effect. Professor Snape, my beloved. I don't think anyone has ever said those words before. And I'm slightly proud to be the first, I guess. Thanks, Ron. Drop the, uh... Leviosa lifting the moment we need it and then bring it back again, no. Forgot to do this earlier. Right, are you going to grab the token or is that like beyond you, Snape? Dude, come on. There we go. That was painful. Yeah, we're losing a lot of time here. Uh, some of it in my control, some of it not. Oh, uh, which game is that? Which game is that, Emma?
That works. The Forgotten City? Gotta be honest, never heard of it. But that's probably due to my knowledge of games more than anything. Indie game that was originally a Skyrim mod? Oh right. And they fleshed it out into their own game. Fair play. So is it more stable than Skyrim? Or is it somehow less stable? These are the important questions. That gave us five million. Wow. There we go. That's sick. Yeah, that sounds really cool. Yeah, that does sound really cool. Yo, Barty Crab Senior, my favourite. The purple stud room, my beloved, that is so true. We're getting like 5 million from purple studs, so it's kind of, kind of nice. Past the 3 hour mark, I haven't even commented on that. But I think we're doing good percentage wise. We need to be on 40.1 by the end. By the end of this section, that is. Not at the end of the run, because, um... That kind of makes it not a 100% run. Because game logic. That is that is the correct way of putting it. To be fair, Snape only can't climb stairs when there's a mandrake involved. Like normally he can. Nobody can climb stairs when a mandrake is screaming at them though. Unless they have earmuffs. Should be good for an animation skip here. Or 
collection skip, I guess. Nice. That was clean. Annoying that we got grabbed by the Dementor there, but it's not too bad. This should be overlapped correctly. Yeah, perfect. If anything, a little bit too early with the stud magnet, but that's fine. Better that than late. <laughs> okay, nice warp game. Wrong shop. No. Did the Dementor just prove Snape has a soul? Hey, Snape has a soul. He just can't climb stairs, that's all. Yep. 40.4. Okay, we are somehow 0.3 better than we should be right now. That's good. So we spawn in Time Turner, leave Time Turner, spawn on the bridge. Uh, what do we do on the way to 4-3? We get token. Yes. <laughs> exactly. Who doesn't love a bit of the Proclaimers, eh? It's loopy skip time. Okay, that's fine. Hmm, that's less fine. Oh, interesting. That far along actually triggers the um thing. Looking at the split times, I feel like I'm really far ahead, but I know I'm not. Because, like, my gold got, like, first try and loopy skip. At the end of this cutscene, it's probably, like, a minute and a half. Maybe a bit less. 
As long as I get all the items, though, it doesn't really matter. If I miss a crest or the student in peril or a token here, that's really bad. Probably one of the biggest time losses in the run in levels you can get from missing a collectible. Because pretty much every other level you have to go to the last room anyway. targeting. That ain't gonna give us anything. Yeah, no warp. It's one. Hopefully we'll get some bonus Hermione warps somewhere along here. Preferably about now I think would be good. Nah. If it's here it's not gonna do anything. Here it might. Yeah, nice. It's easy when you know where the student in peril is. That was pretty clean, you know. I don't think it's golding. I can't remember how long this cutscene is, but I think it might be slightly longer than 22 seconds. That's still more than good enough, though. No, we're golding. No, we're not. Forgot about this. One, two, three for student in peril. Right, clean up part two. Here we come. It's bad that I feel more awake now than I did at the start of the run, but hopefully we should be under two hours to go. If we keep up this pace, we are. And we definitely have time save. Okay. Nice, we got it. We basically skip that animation, which is fantastic. Very clean common room cleanup. Apart from dropping the parcel once, very good. Ravenclaw boy, P1, switch to Ron for player 2. That's something I forgot last run. Oh, it's Padma. Of course it's Padma. Doesn't make too much difference. And then P2's Justin, which means P1 will become Snape and P2 will become Fang, which is perfect. I don't know why um, T Fresh insisted on Ravenclaw boy over Padma for Ravenclaw. Like, it's in the root as Ravenclaw Boy rather than Padma, but they both do the same thing. I guess uh, Ravenclaw Boy is slightly cheaper. But, like, I'm so used to getting... Uh, Padma that I'm just used to the 1P2C. We're going to change this 1P2C up a bit. That should open up with the student in peril. Nice, we got this overlap actually instead. Which is better, I'd say. This is a long camera pan, so... Oh, 
Ah, that's annoying. So I was trying to change up the 1P2C a bit so we'd overlap those two. Uh, but we didn't quite get it, but it's it's fine. Like, still a good split. Wouldn't leave Ravenclaw Tower off split. We have one arrow pointing here, but that's actually for Slytherin. First room, rather than for Ravenclaw, it just, like, is here. P1 drinks become Snape. And Snape goes and hides in the wardrobe. Put this mandrake down, immediately pick them back up. Because we need them to get the token here as well, but it's quicker to get the student in peril first for some reason. Might not overlap this, but it will be close. Okay, not quite. It actually wasn't close at all. I almost made it to, to the wardrobe by the time any overlap. Thankfully, Snape can walk up these stairs. Because otherwise we'd be in a whole world of trouble here. But even those he didn't find easy, actually. Parcels there. I'm so unobservant sometimes. We're going to ignore that that happened. Uh, I was complaining about the parcel not being there without paying attention to the fact that it was already there. Token will spawn here. We're not going to get it yet, though. We get it on the way out. That spawns so much closer than I think it does. Also, that chair is going on a mission. Like, that chair is going on an adventure. Can we push it through to transition? Yep, that chair is gone.
double overlap at least, hopefully. Okay, double with the student in peril. So close to getting the triple overlap there. It's definitely possible doing it like that. <laughs> Chair had better step movement than Snape. Yeah, that's actually true though. Snape, bless him. Stairs on a strong point. Not S-T-A-I-R, anyway, stairs. S-T-A-R-E, I think he has a case for. Bang on player one, let's go. This is not my usual 1P2C, but it's quicker. bit too late. Yeah, we could have actually gone through the door in that time. That's annoying. I mean, it doesn't affect anything, but... Clean. This radio takes a while. So let's, ah. Uh, I think we can actually enter that and then get the token on the way out. That might be a strat. Because otherwise we get this problem. Perfect. Let's do the Lumos jump with Snape first, then do the Hermione stuff. Overlap. Yes, overlap. Very nice. This is a good size gold, actually. I think we're going to be minus four once we leave the library. Not quite. We'll be very close though. Very nice. Hmm. Uh, this is actually looking like a decent run, you know? Hmm. As long as I haven't forgotten anything, this is going rather clean.
Doris Crockford, my favourite. Who doesn't love Doris Crockford? I'm going to try this this time. Bit different. I like that. Not quite possible to overlap that student in peril with this goal with the parcel. What did I I have no idea what I bonked on there. I hit like an invisible on Hermione collects cat Hermione. I think that's fitting. Uh, 4-4 is a level that exists, but let's do the all-crest route for it. We are now 4 minutes ahead. VPT is apparently a 5-10, uh, 05. We have time to save in the 4-5 split though, because we had a crash just before 4-5 in PB, and it took like 2 minutes to resolve. I did that here, shouldn't do that here, but oh well. Cool first room, got both crests, that's all we need, and then the one um, token, which is behind us at the start. Actually, I could leave that token. Uh, 
Nah, it's 50-50. We'll grab it now. It literally, it doesn't lose any time to grab it now, and it doesn't lose any time to grab it in free play. So, I might as well just grab it now, and then I don't have to worry about it. Uh, this is probably losing a tiny bit of time, actually, I think. I think the first from 1P2C wasn't great, so we're losing a bit. I mean, there isn't much to this split, but... Uh... We've collected everything in the Great Hall, which is brilliant. Nothing on any of the detectors. And we got the Student in Peril for definite. Nothing on the detectors out here, which is a good sign. Once we get into the bridge, there should be three things on the detector. All in the room after. I like the way for... um. Like, 100%. You actually gain some knowledge of where the soft loads and the hard loads are. Without even realising. Because, like, every soft load, uh, you can, like, see the arrows from another room. And then every hard load, you don't have that. But it gives you a good idea of what rooms are what. Like, on what uh, loads. I feel like, I feel like by this point they'll probably go, oh, he's at it again. I think they'd be more worried about the giant face tokens floating, floating in the sky, to be honest. It's turn of time time. Yeah, but that's like, that's just being British, isn't it? It's like, it's not my problem. Why should I care? You know?
Right, now we can do the main part of this level. Alright, good night, Emma. Thanks for the good luck, and yeah, have a good night. Thanks for hanging around for so long as well. Always appreciated. Especially on these lengthy streams. Cool, so the only thing we have left to get now is the token. That does nothing. I don't know why it's a thing that you can just put the food in the cauldron. Spawn the gold brick, start the cutscene, and that is Hagrid's garden. Um, I could have split there. I'll split at the end of the cutscene. Which is there. Well, unofficially that was a gold. But this, like, section, this 1541 section, will very much gold. As long as I don't crash. Then the segment we're comparing against will very much be golded. Hey, hey, woozy groozy. Um, yeah, all, all's good here at the moment. This this speedrun's going alright, so I can't complain too much. Uh, yeah, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, hope you're doing well, as well. Having a good day slash afternoon slash evening, whatever time it is for you. Oh, thanks, I appreciate that. <laughs> I've actually been getting that a decent amount, um, which is kind of funny because, like, I hate my voice. Like, I really don't like the sound of my own voice when I'm, uh, like, recording stuff. It's really painful to listen to, but uh, I guess other people seem to like it, so I can't complain. <laughs> yeah, thanks for the GGs. This, this game is a big nostalgia hit for a lot of people. And it's good to see those those kind of people um, kind of find their way into the speedrunning side of things as well. Not necessarily doing the speedruns, but by watching some speedruns. It's always good to see, because it's a... I mean, from my point of view, it's a completely different perspective on the game. Um, which is good fun. Like, playing this game casually and then speedrunning this game, it's two completely different things that you're doing, really.
Hey, we got the shell as we hit the camera pan. Very nice. Uh, yeah, sorry I wasn't talking much during that. That's intense one player, two controller movement. But uh, yeah, no, definitely. Watching speedruns for games you've played yourself, it puts an entirely new perspective on it. I think my favorite for that is probably um, Celeste, the indie game. Because, I mean, on its own, absolutely phenomenal game. Uh, and then you watch a speedrun of it, and oh my god, it's something completely different. But it's so cool to watch. Nah, I'm alright. There's, there's sections I need to concentrate for, and I'll just kind of naturally quieten for that. But if I'm talking to chat, don't ever feel like you you don't, you know, you don't want to put a message or something in there. Because I will try and read as much as I can and catch up eventually. There's just some points where it's, like, tough to. We've got a two hit clip. Haven't had one then for a while. But yeah, no, I've, I've got into watching some uh, Hollow Knight speedruns as well. The kind of Metroidvania game. Because that is, again, absolutely phenomenal game. I'm midway through a casual playthrough of it right now. But some of the speedruns and stuff of it are just exceptionally good. But it's, it's the kind of game that I'd never want to speedrun myself because it's too boss fighty rather than platformy. Which isn't exactly for me. No, I'm not worried about spoilers because, um,. I mean, one, I don't really understand the lore of the game anyway, because it's it's very confusing. At least in places. And I've already watched, like, casual playthroughs of it. So I've watched, um, RT Games playthrough of it. Uh, when he did his playthrough, which again is, is really good. And, uh, yeah, so I'm not worried about that side of things. I just want to watch watch the runs for what they are, and then I'll go away and kind of do my own thing. Let's see how much we're golding by. We're going to be like seven minutes ahead. Uh, yes. So... Um, not necessarily tech as such, but kind of like different fight strategies and stuff for Hollow Knight in particular. Uh, because basically you're using, like, you have the base base nail for sword damages and stuff but um then looking at the way that you can use spells in the boss fight it's not always completely intuitive how you can use them it kind of takes a bit of uh finding out shade skips are probably the easiest thing to put in although i have not done any shade skips thus far um but I'm at the point now where I've got like monarch wings and stuff, so shade skips aren't exactly necessary. Yeah, no, that's why I never want to take up speedrunning.
uh, speedrunning Hollow Knight because my boss fight ability is nowhere near good enough. If we're talking like Watcher Knight, it's brutal. Even with the chandelier thingy. Never heard of someone watching the speedrun for the game that they're middle of playing for the first time. So it's not strictly my first time playing. Because I've uh, played it. Uh, I played it ages ago before. Didn't finish it. Yeah, that wasn't quite what I meant to say. Words, words are difficult. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not quite my first playthrough of the game. So, do we spawn the token? No, we didn't that time. Interesting. Oh, I forgot to split. But it's, it's one of those games that, in all honesty, the o your own sense of accomplishment from achieving stuff and kind of exploring and all that kind of stuff, it's very separate to how a speedrun looks, where you have a known path that you need to travel, you know exactly what you need to do to get from A to B and all that kind of stuff, whereas you don't know that when you're casually playing through the game. It depends on the game, but there's there's a lot of games out there which I very much believe you can you can watch speedruns and have a casual playthrough and go completely different routes and have a completely separate experience. Have fun at uni. Uh, hope the classes go well and all that. And yeah, see you around. Thanks for stopping by. Should be on three out of five now. If we're not, in all honesty, it's not the end of the world. Like, it's not the biggest thing if we don't end up getting this crest. But we do get it, so no problem. Nice, clean crest grab. This is going to be a sub 4 any percent, by a lot actually, this is going to be a sub 350. 355 any percent, not sub 350. And time, oh wait no, wrong category. So that's only um, 40 minutes slower than my best ever. Um, or well, not my best ever, my first any percent run. My first any percent run came in at a 3.15. So we're like less than 40 minutes behind, having collected everything in the overworld, <laughs> hopefully. With the exception of Dumbledore's office. That's the one part we haven't collected. Oh my god, it's David Tennant. 
crazy. if the load removal works i don't think it will i have a theory and i don't think that one was good i was wrong the load removal works fine <laughs> maybe that's what i need to do i need to constantly just say the opposite of what i think is going to happen Is it worth turning extras on for this? Hmm. Uh, I don't think it is. Like, the time it takes to menu, you don't have that much fast magic in the room itself. So I don't think I will turn it on. And then I'll keep it turned off all the way through the bonus levels, actually, as well. So we won't have like fast magic and all that stuff until we get to replaying. Because I'm thinking like in Dumbledore's office, fast magic will save what, five seconds if that? I reckon the thing takes longer than five seconds, though. So we'll overlap this token with the student in peril. Like so. And then we get the gold brick. Somewhere. There it is. 119. And then we can enter the office. token thank you yeah there's like barely anything you actually need to fast magic in here so there's no point really getting fast magic just for this part. Oh yeah, I forgot to activate forks. So we'll stand under here, get this, excuse me, come on game, there we go, that's awkward to try and time, we're losing a little bit because of that. And now we go shopping. 20 out of 20, 36, 2 out of 4, looks good. So we buy out the gold brick shop, and the parcels, and then we get Accio as well.
Boop, that's everything. Might as well buy these now. Thankfully these aren't in-game time bricks. So we don't have the same problem as TCS does. Also, Harry does not look like he's having a fun time right there. Come on game, I know we're just missing that one. There we go. a bit here as well but we can make some time up in the level itself or in the levels themselves because they weren't perfect bonus levels this is actually a strong segment of my pb so i'm not mad uh we've got to try and get these accio clips working though is broken somehow so we'll do the backup that's a bit annoying uh we might lose some time in places i'm not sure but when they're doing the jumping thing you know that akio is broken no nope, wrong strat need you there. Uh, yes, you absolutely can. I'm not sure if you can access the area, so you might need a Wing Guiding Leviosa, but you can definitely access beyond that. Okay, Akio's back, perfect. Actually, yeah, of course you need Wingardium Leviosa because that's what Akio goes over. Dude. But yeah, so theoretically, if there was an infinite stud glitch like there is with LIJ1, then you could uh, do the infinite stud glitch, buy Akio, and then complete all the bonus levels. I wonder whether having the things up actually makes it more consistent. That's not a thing you can replicate in runs, but I just wonder if that's the case. Clean. Golding. Big gold, actually. Don't think I've ever had a first triakio clip on this one. Uh, all you'd want was Lumos. You don't even need Lumos because in the bonus levels themselves, you're given max abilities. Finally, dude. That's what I expect with Accio Clips. Yeah. In the levels themselves, you have a complete full wheel. Um, so, for example, in all bonus levels, new game, you don't need to worry about abilities and stuff. You just need to get yourself to um, Gringotts with forty with forty gold bricks, 
41 actually. Because the last one requires 50s and you won't get the, the gold brick from that until after you've got the 50. So yeah. Ain't no way, it's it's laser trap. I don't really have a response to packety wackety wax so unfortunately. But uh, hello hello, how you doing? Uh, six. Oh, easiest level. Vibin, that's what we love to hear. Nice gold. Bonus level seven. Next part for review for SMB3. Is the review overall positive? Because I've heard SMB3 is there. Quite a good game. That's five videos away, right? Fair enough, fair enough. Nice, golden. First 8 plus rating for an NES game. That's fair, that's fair. SMB3 does deserve it, to be fair. I haven't played much of SMB3, but what I have played, I have really enjoyed. You use a 100 point scale? Oh right, okay, yeah. And you're rating it above 8, hmm. Me thinks you've been a bit harsh on the old NES games, if that's the case. With decimals, yeah, that's fair. Man, I forgot how clean I got this in PB. I literally got it first try Accio clip and then basically on uh, IL pace. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's fair, that's fair. Giving a 7 to SMV1 would be very harsh, out of 100. There we go. Seven point four, I think that's fair. It's very bare bones in terms of what it is as a game, but uh, it ran so the rest of the Mar or it walked so the rest of the Mario series could run. I think that'd be my kind of ten second review of it. So when are you dropping the review of uh, LSW2 DS? That's the one I'm hyped for. Giving up for more sub 130 grind, that's fair, that's fair. Lego's not on the bucket list, that's fair, that's fair. Grump percent highlight reel. Oh yeah, that'd be cool to see. Moon class at star.
Nice, that's everything. Losing a bit, that's fine. So my PB was like really good around this area. Um, so I will be expecting to probably lose time overall. There's definitely some sections I can clean up, but on the whole my PB was very strong here. No idea what slot Fang is in. That was a good gamble on three. Not time, I know, right? Time turner on my split, if only, if only. Okay, getting this cleanly, I didn't manage this in PB. What? That's a new one. What happened to the student now? Oh, he gets walled back. Okay, cool. Never had that happen before. Yeah, makes sense. Dumbest camera pan in the game. Yeah, we should be able to do that. I, I don't think we are, but we should be able to. Is this golding? Huh, interesting. I didn't think that was that good. There's definitely like five seconds I can shave off that. We also lost a lot of... Why did we lose a lot of time here? Did like filch grab or something? No, we had that in... Uh, Earlier this run. Did I mess up the Fang jump? Maybe. Uh, I think Fang should be on slot 2. That was right. Star, Moon, Cat. Very nice. I feel like this is goldable as well. I don't know if I opened the vault or not. I don't think I did. Yeah, not quite. Clean. Golding, I think. Hopefully, this time we'll be good on gold bricks. Because last run we were one short, which meant our bonus level split looked catastrophic. Or our Voldemort level split even looked catastrophically bad. This, however, was very clean in uh, PB. Yo, Starlight, thank you for the good luck. Hope you are doing well. Ah, come on. Make this jump. Snape, why you do me like this?
that's everything. Losing a little bit of time, not surprising. My PB there was super good. But still, saving time overall. Can't complain too much. Uh, we have supposedly 16 we can save here. What happened? Oh, broomstick shenanigans, I think. We might get the cutscene here. I'm not sure. We didn't this time. Oh, we did actually. Smooth. Get off. Oh, we actually got three up there. I was only aiming for two. Broomstick, please move. Thank you. Ah, dude, that's so annoying. It is, in fact, free play time. Looks like everything. Okay, so we're not golding, but we're gonna be in like 200, I think. 159. Nice. Good year one free play. Nice. That was pretty decent. As far as that room goes anyway. That room is one of the harder rooms in the game to 1P2C. Mostly because the gnomes are very annoying. It's funny how much of free play it actually just becomes kind of semi-improv. Like, I know the route that I want each player to take in terms of the lines they take. But in a lot of rooms, like for example this next room, I don't really know which player goes where. We have to end free play. If we've got the right amount of gold bricks, we have to end free play with 195 gold bricks. So hopefully that happens. One.
once again, I accidentally bought Dobby, so Dobby's just kind of vibing in our character roster. Dobby hits Dobby. <laughs> and the way he goes, yes, yes. That is a that is a reference. Hey, that's great. Have I done that yet? Uh I, I don't think so. Yeah, I'm not sure if I have done it yet. Wait, that's a thing? I didn't realize that was possible. I just blew Dobby away with like the uh, vacuum cleaner effect or whatever it's called that you get from pressing B on Wingardium Leviosa when there's no targetable objects. That's crazy. Almost eight minutes ahead now. Not bad. Oh, it's midnight. And we got about, hopefully, less than an hour left in the run. If all goes well. Less than an hour left. Uh, I don't have P2 dropped in, so we're dropping P2 now. Good one, P2C, so far. And the moment I say that, I forgot which character was which. Where's this class character token? Oh yeah, it's just in the reducto chest. That's some dumb time loss. Student of Power's like, nah, I'm gonna chill up here, you know? Just vibe around a bit. Yeah, we lost time anyway, because the 1P2C wasn't brilliant. A whole 15 seconds, no. Uh, this is RNG. Even worse RNG than normal as well. In the sense that more things can go randomly.
Oh, I didn't realize that was one I needed to get. I like the way Tom Riddle's just kind of here as your third character. Like, even though he really shouldn't be, he's just kind of chilling here. This is not good RNG, though. What's this, like a seven silver? Well, one more than whatever it was. Make that two more. Finally game, thank you. Moon. There's no real good place to deploy that lever. Lever? Lever. I'm British. Bruh. I can't believe I just said that. This might be golding, you know? Which says a lot about the awful RNG I've had in other rounds. Actually, no, it won't be because we have the status screen at the end. I was going to say, if this is golding, then, like... My last PB must have had terrible RNG as well. I'm losing like eight. Only six. That's fine. I love the first part of this room, it's so fun. This movement is just so good, I want entire levels of this movement. Which is why I like 4-2 uh, so much. Excuse me? What? Did I go through, like, the second one too early or something? I really thought I got it. Oh well. That was 9 out of 10. Too low. Really?
Okay, not losing as much as I'd thought, even with a third try, uh, free skip thingy, whatever that's called. Uh, and hopefully Akio wasn't broken, so we'll be able to do 2-6 first try. It's not looking good. That's fine. That's what, 20 second time loss? That's okay. Great 1p2c, if I'm honest, but it's okay. don't think P2's in the right position there. It's close, but I don't think they are. It's difficult to tell with this one whether it funnels you into the middle or pushes you out. Actually, actually, that's perfect. Well, given the fact we had a 18 second restart, that was rather good. I'll take that. That would have golded by 10 if we didn't have Accio break. Can't complain about that. Now we have the slow part of the run. The one really slow part of the run where you can't actually get, um... Like, there's no crests or anything in this first section, it's just the boss fight. So we might as well get some... ...monies that we really do not need now. Mostly because we bought everything. And also because, like, in two levels we get all that we need for the characters without even trying. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. So it's seven to Snape.
scolding. Sob is looking very nice, actually. Or BPT, even, is looking very nice. Uh, we don't need to do anything with P2 to start with here. I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. No. Wasn't looking good. Way too many drops. There we go. Crab in egg, indeed. Crab, crab just chilling there. You see, he's not not up to trouble for once. So, uh, I didn't quite get the camera pan skip. It's a very quick camera pan skip, so it doesn't matter. No idea, you'll know better than me. He was written out, wasn't he? Because, um, they replaced him with someone else, didn't they? Like, not to play crab, but to, um... Thank you, finally. Nice. Looking good so far? Yeah, it's decent at the moment. Um, I'm liking the BPT at the moment. It's just 50806. So it's not too bad. Um... It's amazing how much of a difference it makes when you don't crash in uh, um, like just before Black Lake. Uh, probably now. It was 7.07 going into this run. Uh, did I get the student? Yeah, I did. Cool. Yeah, it was 7.07 .07 going into this run, and this run has been up to a minute behind before coming back, so I'd imagine it is. Yeah, it was 5.07 at the start of this run. Wait, really? He was arrested in the London riots? That's, um... Surprising.
Looking good. Two more and then... There we go. That's what I meant by two more. Two more on the character selection. Nice. Not golding, but saving time. Because we didn't get true adventure or anything. Oh, we didn't get true wizard first time around. Which does actually play into these. Uh, three, four. How do we have so much time save? Oh, the Accio clip just didn't want to work. Like, it wasn't that Accio was broken, it just straight up didn't want to work. So we have a lot of save here. Well, that's a lot better this time around. And we got the flowers crest, so we can do this section one player. Make the cycle, yep, very nice. I'm gonna do the transfix strat here. Just for a bit of safety. May well come down to last room 1p2c as to whether we gold this. I don't actually remember if I've had a... Um, a decent 3-4 uh, gold. In either story or uh, replay, really. Uh, I did get the student in peril, so okay. did rescue the student in peril as well. Very close to gold, but not quite actually. My gold was rapid. Oh, we missed out by 0.04. Okay. It was close. Three, five. Uh, yeah. Well, live split runs by default at 40 FPS, I think. So, on live split's timer, it'll be... Um... Less... Or it'll be two frames on live split's timer, I think. Don't know where Crookshanks ended up. Oh, up there, perfect.
Okay, so, um, yeah, this is rather good. I just need to make sure I don't put the, um, yellow disc in. Too early. I need to make sure the crest is fully collected and clicked in place before I can put the yellow disc in. That's why I've given myself a bit of space here. Played that a little bit on the safe side, but that's probably better right now. Oh, this is a nice gold. I didn't realize my 1PTC was good enough for that. Exactly how you remember Cornelius Fudge looking? Sure. Sure. So, 3-6. We always get Hermione's sweater after we get Harry. Or after Hermione. So, it'll be 1-2-3, probably. 4. So it's one switchboard to fang to Snape. That was poor. That was also poor. Yeah, he is really built like that, bless him. Oh, that works. Never done it like that before. I've always started that fang jump with fang. But, uh, new strats, eh? Improvise zooming, exactly. Put this one around the corner. Looks good. 185. 10 gold bricks in these levels. Close. I mean, I want it to be close. Oh, did we not get true wizard here? I don't think we did. Yep, that'll be one of the bricks. Got everything except the one last thing we need, which is this. Then free the last Weasley. Never seen that before.
queen. Oh, golding, nice. And I think we got all the tokens that time as well. Okay, so we got seven bricks to get in five levels. We should be missing two students in peril. Perfect. That's really good news. I don't know why. I went to free play straps there. Small ant 20 minutes emote. Hopefully, hopefully, dude. Red, yellow. Barring any mistakes, this run should be done in 20 minutes. Maybe quicker. So, Mr. Frodo, once I complete this level, this will be the farthest under sub 5 pace I've ever been. I thought you'd like that reference, Brandino. <laughs> Clean. Isn't that the nine hour version of Fellowship of the Ring where every time Sam takes a step he says, Mr. Frodo, if I take one more step, it'll be the farthest away from home I've ever been. I want to watch that at some point, that'd be a great movie night. intelligent circuits would melt. I think it'd be great. Or would you rather do it as a drinking game then? Every time... Uh, every time Sam says, if I take one more step, would it be the farthest away from home? You take a drink. That would absolutely destroy anyone. POV, your fang. You would honestly be on the floor by like... I think bef way before the Brandywine Bridge. Barely survived the extended editions. Yeah, that's fair, that's fair. Uh, first task. Oh, this is 1P2C. Cool. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, they're not for everyone, just in terms of the pure length of them, but... The people who are like, yes, more content, give me more content. That's who they're really designed for. I don't think I've seen the extended editions.
Interesting. We're one beauty seeing this. No, we're not. We're one peeing this. Probably quicker than I'd normally one beauty see it. Movie night, a, eh? a eh? movie night. Nah, I would so fall asleep by like two towers. We did it one night last year where we uh, watched all three How to Train Your Dragons movies. And man, loved the first one. Was dozing off in patches of the second. Nothing against the film, it's a brilliant film. But I was falling asleep in patches of it. By the third one, I was gone. The first one goes crazy, yeah, it really does. The first one's so good. And then the third one I remember like nothing of because I kept on falling asleep in like 15 minute periods, waking up and then not having a clue what was going on. Messed up the 50 50 because I just realized I forgot the boy again. No, I didn't. I got him. Still never seen the third. I mean, I have no opinions on it, mostly because I was asleep for most of it. Right, it was literally like. We were watching it in kind of our kitchen, kitchen slash living room. I just brought my duvet in and a pillow and was on the floor. And I managed to sleep through it, like, perfectly. It was not ideal, but it was a very nice sleep. Exactly. Hey, we got the grip at clip, let's go. I was kind of focusing on that with player two, which is why my player one movement was a bit sloppy there, because player two is technically the bottleneck. Oh, what? It unclipped. Never mind. I hate this game. Okay, got it again. So I just lost a bit of time with player two by being bad. I don't have an excuse for being bad with player one now. That's sad. Uh, what's the guitarist doing at the bottom of the lake? Well, they're obviously playing some songs, or playing one specific song, called Ocean Avenue. Got him. Sorry, that was awful, but I do not take it back. <laughs> Hello? Where's the ink? Oh, of course it's up here. I had an inkling that was going to happen. Sorry, these jokes are awful.
subnautical musical music puns incoming. That was the only one I got, unfortunately. Alas. Cool, so we're perfect on gold bricks. Uh, how are we on tokens? We need all three from here. 158, brilliant. We are good. We're better than good. We're on pace. Whoa. I'm going to try 1p2 seeing this this time. I can make this cycle. If you say so, I cannot remember the start of Hey Yeah, but yeah. I will I will take your word for that one. What's cool gonna be cool? Ice cool. Okay, yeah, I can see it now. Type of thing. 195. All tokens. Hopefully. Yeah. One nine seven. One nine nine. Nice club. Really exciting Voldemort bonus level. Hmm, yes, best part of the run. I think that's the point where I say, you're entitled to your own opinion, but unfortunately I regret to inform you that it is wrong. I forgot I wavered it, not shoot it. Right, it's time. Who doesn't love bus and mashing simulator? Let's go.
I always feel like we're on really bad pace in this run, but genuinely, I have no idea. I mean, that is true, but that's nothing to do with the level itself. That's because I forgot a gold brick in the overworld MPB. My brain just completely blanked for a moment there, and I'm not exactly sure why. I hope so at this point, Hamster. It should be. Time being spent in a profitless and non-practical way. That is an obscure reference. Uh, I forgot a gold brick in the overworld, and to enter this level you need 200 gold bricks. So that added into this split. Wow, you really hit me with the classic. Let's see how it is, hamster. Uh, yes, but there's only a reload, I believe. Uh, in 5 through 7, there is one. That was pretty clean. Yeah. I was going to say, you're not doing it in your 1 through 4 hand though. Not in the speed run anyway. Gold here was actually like nuts. Gold was in my first run, so I was like absolutely sending it because if I'd. Uh, If I'd got the, like, a good bonus level, then I would have uh, got Reki, but I forgot a character, so that didn't happen in my first run. But uh, this is probably going to be a 508. Gold split for the final gold brick? Unfortunately not. Let's go charactering.
Perfect. haven't dropped one yet, that's surprising. And we're on the dark magic characters. Ah, then we dropped one. It's Dudley, of course. Also, we did that, which is bad. We did it! Let's go! I should be more happy about this. Yeah! Oh my god, we're so good! 508, what a time! But yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. That was a... Uh, yeah, I'll take that.